On Jackalof Bay Road in Seldovia, dust can be a real problem. And since excessive dust can lead to a myriad of health problems, Seldovia Village Tribe's Environmental Department has continued its second summer of air quality monitoring. Dust has a, a lot of um, health impacts, especially with those who are really vulnerable in the population, um, young children, elderly, those with um, respiratory illnesses already. Bronchitis or asthma, things like that, the dust matter, PM10, uh, particle matter 10 can get into their lungs and cause irritants and cause them to have more breathing issues. The department is monitoring two different locations on Jackalof Bay Road, each with two pieces of equipment, a high volume air sampler provided by the Alaska Department of Environmental Conservation and a Dust Track 2 aerosol monitor. The uh, high volume sampler, the UFO looking device, that one's federally referenced air monitoring equipment, so it's filtered based. What happens is we have the pre-weighted filters, they get put in, the machine runs, and then the particles get put, go in the intake valve as air is sucked into the machine, and so they lay on the filter, and then when it's done the run, we send in the filter. You have the weight before it ran, and now you have a weight after it ran, so you can see the difference and see how much particles actually got on the filter. The Dust Track 2 aerosol monitors, it's all digital. Um, what they have is they don't have a filter, but it has a impactor plate. And so it's right underneath the intake valve. So when the air and the particles are going in, they hit the impactor plate. The machine reads it every 15 seconds. Um, and so you're getting almost continuous data for while the machine is running. Verify 5.25, that was the handheld digital manometer reading. SVT staff will analyze the data, reporting to the agencies once the monitoring is complete at the end of September.